Shires. Hello everybody, I'm Shai Resnick from HiRes.io and this is... You testing N PDD Theory course So welcome to the unit testing and TDD theory course Nerds As a matter of fact, Bonnie, all of the cool kids today are testing their code. People even choose their next job based on whether the company is doing testing or not. Because testing is what transforms us from okay developers into true professionals. The course you're about to see is the theory course meant to be taken as a preliminary course before the Angular TDD one, which is more practical. This course will answer the following questions. What to test and why should we test? testing tools and testing rules, structure, and of course, TDD. So let's begin with our first episode, what is a unit test? Wait, wait! What, Bonnie? Can you first explain what's a unit? What are you coding over there? Uh, nothing. It looks like some kind of a dating website? No, it's nothing. <laughs> Okay, Bonnie, you ask what's a unit, so the official definition is... A unit is the smallest testable part of the application. What the hell? Well, basically, it's a function. It can be a method of a class or a standalone function, but at its core, it's a single unit of functionality. Okay, so what is a unit test? A unit test is a test which tests out a single unit. Yep. Basically, Bonnie, it's code that checks out your other code. How you doing? A unit test is a piece of code that has access to your original code or the implementation under test. We run this test using a special program called a test runner. And we see whether the units are doing their job by getting a full report of which tests failed and where exactly. So unit tests check the integrity of our unit. What's integrity got to do with it? Well, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were two people, a startup founder and a freelance developer. The founder wanted the freelance developer to code an app for him. So they signed a legal agreement which stated that if the developer finishes the job within three months, he will get paid. If not, no money for him. Sounds like a bad deal. The developer worked very hard to finish up the app and managed to complete it in only two months. That's awesome! So he came back to the founder and asked him for his money. But the founder all of a sudden didn't want to pay him the full amount, only half. Hey, that's not fair, they had a deal. Yeah. Luckily, the startup founder had a legal advisor in his company who told him, Listen, pay this dude up or bad things will happen. So the founder listened to his advisor and paid the developer the full amount. Uh, that's a great story, but how is it relevant to unit tests? Well, let's break it down into coding terms. You can think of the founder and the freelance developer as classes. The developer is dependent on the founder's pay developer method, which has a conditional if statement. The expected behavior is that the founder should pay the full amount if it's under three months of work. But oh no, Oy vey. the founder has a bug. And instead of paying the full amount under three months, his condition logic is different. So now bad things could happen. In real life, he might get sued. But taking it back to our application code, if we ship it, our users can experience these bugs in production. <laughs> So the test runner is acting as the legal advisor. It knows about all of the legal agreements of the company, which are in fact the unit test, and can tell us if our logic does not match a specific agreement. And this is how unit tests help us test the integrity of the unit itself. So to sum things up, a unit is a function, a unit test is like a legal agreement, and a test runner makes sure you follow these agreements. But remember that it all comes down to this. A unit test is code that checks your other code. But Shai, it sounds stupid to write code that checks my other code. Oh really? If you too think you don't have time to test your code, this next episode is for you. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. See you on the next episode.
click on the next episode.